Well, Mama told me when I was young, said sit beside me, my only son. Good morning, 7.45, nice calm sunny morning. This is more of the weather that we were hoping for. I'm going to go uh, continue fishing. Hopefully get something this morning. Kind of slept in a little bit. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited for a nice warm day last night. Uh, last night was chilly. So I made the bright executive decision to not bring my thicker sleeping bag. So the sleeping bag I'm using, I haven't used it in a while. And now I remember why. It's not uh, not very good. Um, so anyway, like it, like it wasn't cold last night. It was probably 18 degrees, maybe something like that. But um, just in the hammock with the wind going underneath it. Um, if you don't have a thick sleeping bag, you need a sleeping pad, which I didn't have either. And it can be, it can tend to be cold. Anyway, I'm going to keep fishing, maybe put a pot of coffee on, and we got a pretty short day today. I think we're going to McGarvey uh, or Bonchair Lake. We're going to um, either try and go farther and see if there's an open campsite, or we're going to stop on McGarvey, um, the campsite we have reserved. Alright, it should be uh, almost 10 o'clock. We didn't rush too much this morning. <clears throat> we're all packed up, ready to go. So today we're leaving Lawrence Lake, um, stairway to heaven, into Rod and Gun, through Louisa, North Grace, making our way through the Whatnot Lakes, I think, to McGarvey. Or maybe the Whatnots are after McGarvey. Either way, it's not a very long day. Uh, the wind's not that heavy right now, so hopefully when we get to Louisa, we can paddle around and do whatever we want and we're not uh, dependent on the wind for the crossing and uh, hopefully the stairway to heaven is not as bad as it sounds. Any named portage is usually uh, difficult at coming one way or the other so anyway we're gonna hit the water now there's a couple boats out already so we're gonna try and get to where we need to be and find a decent campsite for tonight. Okay, we're at the 4.15, I think it's 10.15 in the morning, something like that maybe, and this is, doesn't look too bad right now, that's the beginning of the stairway to heaven. So I'll do, Ryan's elected to take the canoe this time, I'll take a little video on the way up, uh, see how bad it is, and I'll be carrying big red, Let's see how it goes.
portage only took us like 10 minutes. It was uphill the whole way. Like it wasn't uh, wasn't devastating or anything, but it certainly wasn't flat. It flattens out a little at the end, but it's basically 400 meters, maybe 385 of just straight uphill. So this is Rod and Gun. Nice little lake. Cool little island over here. Uh, I'd have to check the map. But there may be one or two campsites on it. It's not very big. We're just uh, taking a little rest because we got this little tiny lake and then uh, we're into the next portage which is a little longer. We did it. That portage was easy. Downhill. Whole way. Nice sandy put in on this side and you are looking into Lake Louisa or Louisa depending on what you want. And we are, once we get through Louisa we're like halfway through our day so this is a, a short one. Beautiful lake so far. Ladies and gentlemen, we did our good deed of the day, passed another group, actually had the exact same canoe as I do, um, good for you, Langford canoes, very good canoes, send me free stuff. <laughs> anyway, they, we were talking to them briefly as we passed and they said they were going to Lawrence Lake and we gave them a heads up to go to the campsite we were on. It uh, doesn't get much better than that on that lake, so hopefully they're happy with, uh, with our recommendation. And I just want to show you, like this is why we come camping. Um, we got the wind at our back, which isn't much, but you might be able to hear it on camera. And this gem is Lake Louisa in all of its glory. It's a big lake. I, I bet the wind and waves get substantial, but like we're going in this direction and the wind appears to be going to push us the whole way. Like it's just, it doesn't get much better than this. I've crossed uh, Black Labier, which is I think smaller than this one, um, or larger, sorry, than this one, uh, with waves against us, and it, it just wasn't fun. But I think we're really gonna enjoy this one. All right, guys, love Lake Louisa. Got a nice, appears to be a, looks like a lake trout, to tell you the truth, by the tail. Uh, first one I've ever caught, and we just hammered it just off the point. So we're going to probably have a shore lunch today, hopefully catch another one, and we're going to go uh, go crazy today. I think I got another one on, ladies and gentlemen. Love Lake Louisa. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Just a little guy. <laughs> okay, so it's like quarter to one, and uh, we're just packing up from our shore lunch. That trout was delicious. And uh, I just wanted this campsite, maybe I'll show you on the map later tonight, but. Um, the put-in is really rocky, it's not great, but this campsite is amazing. It's the southernmost point before the portage. It's the last campsite on a nice high rocky point. And there's a million trees here that we can put that are suitable for hammocks, plus several uh, decent tent pads. I think there's one up the hill, and the, the thunder box is up there, but like it's just... It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. You get a nice sunset off in this direction. Sorry. This direction. Um, so if I'm ever back this way, this is uh, this is the one. Okay. It's uh, 1.30, maybe 1.40. And we just completed the 1460 from Lake Louisa into North Grace. And... Uh, there's some people at the other end of the portage and then there's three boats that just did this portage that put in over there at that campsite. 
This is North Grace Lake. We got uh, a bit of a paddle down this lake, and then uh, I think we go through one more lake, and then we're into McGarvey. That was the, uh, I think, the longest portage of the trip, and uh, it sucked. Like 14, almost 1500 isn't that long of a portage, but the high point is like a kilometer in. And it just seems to be like a gradual incline. It's not very steep, but it's just continual incline. And then once you get to the high point, it's it's easy down to the put in. But it was, it was painful a little bit. Anyway, most of our day is done now. A couple nice paddles, maybe uh, fish a bit on the way, and then we'll be into our campsite. Hopefully by 3, 3.30. And so it's like 2.30, 2.45, and we've made it to the North Grace Portage into Lemon Lake. And these are the portages that I hate. I don't know why someone trudged through there when there's a uh, bridge, but like you step in this stuff, you're going down. Ryan did over there and uh, went up to Bo's knee sort of thing. But these are tricky put-ins. You think you can just step out of the boat, but you get buried. So, we're going to somehow manage to get all of our gear out here and not uh, go into the water. Hooray! Last portage of the day. We're about to start from Lemon Lake into McGarvey, which is home for the night. Lemon Lake, uh, not very big. You know, it's an okay lake. You're basically looking at the whole thing. And the portage is down that way. I think we got some friends behind us. Nice. Okay, we're going to make short work of this and stay ahead of them. In case they're going to McGarvey as well. And we'll get pick of the campsites. Let's do it, right? So where were they? Alright everyone, it's like 3.30, 3.45, we've made it to our campsite on McGarvey, so we just set up a tarp, because it's raining, uh, just started raining literally when we got onto McGarvey, uh, this campsite's nice, it's pretty wide open over here, nice benches, really nice fire pit, someone took a lot of time to build those up, and then uh, over this direction, there's suitable trees for putting up hammocks. Uh, I'm assuming that's where the Thunderbox is, that trail. And then over in this direction, it opens up again, and there's there's quite a bit of blowdown. So I think we're going to be good for wood. But we're home, so we're just going to take her easy for a bit. Might get into the whiskeys and uh, hunker down. Rain breaks, I'm going to set up my hammock, and we're good to go.
So it's uh, 7.30 in the evening, and we've got, uh, I don't know if you can see it, we've got the GoPro taking a uh, time lapse, hopefully, of the sunset. It got uh, super calm, which is nice. First time this trip that it's been like this. Uh, it rained for a bit, then the, uh, the weather cleared, and now it's a beautiful night. Got three loons off the front here, fire going. Got Rye Guy taking photos. The sunset's looking good. So, pretty relaxing night. We're going to go back, enjoy the fire, and then uh, probably get into the whiskey. End of day two.